Hello guys, welcome back to my platform Ipuriku TV. Now, um, going forward, I'm going to be talking about the update that the Italian government has given on a um, list of safe countries. Remember that in the past, uh, there are list of countries which are considered safe. And what does that mean? It means that if you are coming from these countries and then you cross the Libyan or Tunisian territory, cross the Mediterranean Sea into Europe or Italy, as the case may be, and you are coming from these countries that are considered safe, getting asylum will be very, very difficult. That is why you realize that some people must have stayed a very long time before their um, asylum are considered. You also need to prove beyond every reasonable doubt that you truly need this asylum or protection that you seek in Europe. In most cases, economic migrants are not considered. Those who they consider, they just want to come to the country to uh, um, work and to you know, raise money to survive. The government of Italy may not likely grant inter, um, uh, asylum or give them any form of document. They may continue to delay such people to a very long time for a very long time till they considered or feel or deem it fit to issue a document to that person now just that um just now that they have updated the list of safe countries let me quickly give you the list of safe countries before this update came now this is a revered lawyer in italy and um, he's also going to be speaking on this new updated list as it is now it, Italy considers safe the following countries. People who come from Albania are not supposed to come to Italy to seek asylum. People who, who come from Algeria are not supposed to come to Italy to seek asylum because these countries are not facing any form of war. There is no war, there is no crisis. The country is still balanced. That's how Italy sees these countries that I'm mentioning to you now. Bosnia is also uh, in, in, in this category and uh, Herzegovina also in this category. Cape Verde cannot come to Italy to seek asylum. They don't consider your asylum because Cape Verde is also peaceful. Gambia is among. Georgia is among. Ghana is among. Ivory Coast is also among. Kosovo is among. Nigeria is among. North Macedonia is among. Montenegro is among. Morocco is among. Senegal is among. Serbia is among. Tunisia is also a safe country. These countries are not supposed to travel to Europe to seek asylum. Now, these are not just the only countries now as they have updated their list. What does that mean? It means that when you arrive Italy now, if you are a new immigrant coming to Italy now, now listen to the consequences of this update and the previous countries that are deemed safe. It means that giving you document will be hard, except you have proof, proof that we convince them beyond doubt that you really deserve to stay in this country. If not, they may likely, you know that it is difficult for Italy to deport. So what do they do is to gog the person without giving the person document. Probably you had a mind or you had a plan that, oh, in the next uh, two years, I'll be traveling for a uh, home and away. I'll be going through and through, okay, from your country or from Italy to your home and then you return or to anywhere else. What they do is to Gog that person by not issuing that person a document that would be able to take you through and through by giving you negative and then you start looking for lawyer and then they start delaying. If renewal of document alone can take somebody two years, now tell me how many years it's going to take them to give people document this time around. So consider these things also before you start making your travel. Now, and this is the reason why. Germany is always in the business of deporting people because most of the people that they deport are coming from these countries.
that they have tagged safe. It is not just Italy alone that have tagged these countries as safe. As they are updating their list, so are other European Union countries also updating their lists of safe countries. Now, let's take a listen to this uh, Italian lawyer on what he has to say concerning this update. Now, listen. Oh, I think the volume is too low. Let me increase the volume here. Okay. È stato pubblicato in Gazzetta. Ieri, 7 maggio 2024, è stato pubblicato in Gazzetta Ufficiale. He said that yesterday, the 7th of May 2024, that the, it has been published in the official Gazette that these countries that he's about to mention are safe. Now, listen. L'elenco aggiornato dei paesi di origine sicuri. L'elenco che comprendeva già altri paesi include da ieri sei nuovi paesi. Bangladesh, Camerun, Colombia, Egitto, Perù e Sri Lanka. Questo significa che le domande di protezione internazionale avanzano. You can see the right up there. What does that mean? It means that applications for international protections will become more difficult for people coming from these countries. Let's go. Avanzate dai richiedenti provenienti da questi paesi verranno valutate alla luce delle schede predisposte dal Ministero per gli Affari Esteri con procedura accelerata. Cosa significa? Significa che il richiedente asilo dovrà dimostrare che esistono gravi motivi per ritenere non sicuro il paese di origine e senza alcun obbligo per la Commissione di motivare l'eventuale rigetto. Quindi, a partire dall'entrata in vigore del decreto 7 maggio 2024, ottenere la protezione internazionale per i cittadini del Bangladesh, Camerun, Colombia, Egitto, Perù e Sri Lanka sarà purtroppo molto più difficile. Molto difficile. Ok, so this is uh, the update there. I'm getting document from, uh, if you are from these countries, will become more difficult. If you are from these countries, getting document will be difficult right now. Okay, they just updated the list, and then with the way that they are moving around trying to stop immigration, you, you understand what I, I mean. You I already told you the countries that are in this category previously before this update now came. You remember this uh, Georgia Meloni, who is the um, current uh, prime minister with uh, the transport minister now. Uh, who was uh, the former interior minister, Matteo Salvini. Okay, they are working hand in hand together to make these things reality. All right. Now, at least 107 migrants free from uh, captivity in Southeast Libya. Now, these people were held captive in Libya uh, by these uh, uh, traffickers, smugglers. There is even a documentary that I saw, which I cannot post because of the graphic images coming from there. These people, they keep migrants in their houses in big halls and then they torture them to call their families to raise money in Africa, back home, in Libya. All right? These black Africans or even people say for, from uh, Egypt and it could be anybody. In Libya, no, they don't send anybody. It could be anybody, be it from any country. That is what they do. That is how most of them drive BB cars in Libya. They torture people, then you call your families. Why? If you look at the bodies of people, how they have hurt them, injured them, and in fact, wounded them in order to make sure that they get what they are looking for, for them to call their family members at home and say, oh, I'm dying, I'm dying, oh, please send money, send the money, send the money. And uh, at the end of the day, these people will send money to them, which is kidnapping. The level of kidnapping in Libya and uh, I don't know about Tunisia, Maybe it's going on there. It's too high. The level of kidnapping in Libya is too much. Individuals every day, everywhere, kidnapping, calling for ransom from these uh, migrants who are trying to use their country as a transit. You know? So, this is the latest update that I have for you. Please let me know your opinion on this. I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please, you can send me um on my dm on um tiktok or please drop your comments on youtube god bless you and share